Hello, I am Hybrid and welcome to this video. And on this video, I'll be going through some of the things I purchased during LEGO's recent VIP weekend. Hello, okay then. Right, before I get on with this video, I'd just like to say, if you like the channel and the videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. So, moving on from that, what I did on the IP weekend for LEGO was I made two different transactions. So on my first transaction, I picked up the Batman Batmobile Lego Technic set. Uh, I didn't use the voucher on this one because this was quite a cheap set and as I was buying another set which had a slightly better discount I believe. I think it worked out just about right. And that was the Camaro set. So I went for these two and with those two combined got the free gift. So that is transaction one. So obviously I used one of the redeemable vouchers on the Camaro. Saved me quite a bit of money on that. Can't remember the exact amount because it's quite a while ago now. I've been waiting for these to turn up for a little bit. Obviously during VIP weekend and Black Friday move coming up as well for them. It's obviously a busy time, so deliveries were a little bit spaced out. Running a little bit late. So yes, I've got those to look forward to build. Okay. So move these over here a second. And then the second transaction. I've got a pickup truck, because I think it's a pretty cool set. And again, I had a voucher for it, a redeemable voucher. So on the second transaction, I used that on that. Uh, kind of wanted to bolster it up a little bit so I could get one of the free gifts. So I ended up going for the Star Wars Bad Batch Attack Battle. I've been wanting this set for a while. Uh, I really like the minifigures and I'm a big fan of the animated series which is on Disney Plus, uh, The Bad Batch. Uh, yeah, I just thought the shuttle was really cool. Got some nice bits in there as well, with like the speeders and so forth. Nice bit of detail. And yeah, make a nice addition to the collection in a minute. Uh, my collection is mostly still in boxes because I just kind of didn't buy it and haven't really had much of a chance to build. Something I'm hoping to do more of very, very soon. Uh, now, when I purchased this, I also got yet another gift of the same. Uh, I did consider maybe trying to sell it on. I've seen people selling them on eBay and so forth for like 25, 30 quid. I thought, nope, so I'm going to keep it. I can keep the parts as spares. Um, probably leave it in the box for now, just in case it does come up in value. You never know. Uh, you know, some of these like giveaway sets can become quite collectible later on. So for now, it's stay in its box. And also, I got hold of the Dragon Adventure Dragon ride. Was it? Yeah, I got a hold of the Adventure Dragon Ride set, which is the redeemable voucher as well. So, yeah, quite a nice little haul. Although it's two separate transactions, admittedly, it, uh, it just allowed me to use the two separate vouchers on the Camaro and on the pickup truck set. Uh, and of course, got double VIP points as well. It's always nice. But they're stacking up very nicely. Um, I am a little bit guided because if I'd thought through a little bit more before I'd finished the second transaction, if I spent just 50 quid more, I would have actually got the, um, I think it was the Brick House collection they were doing at the time, with all like the, I think it was like four or five different figures, and it was like the 
duck one and it was kind of like a throwback to some of the original builds they did for lego uh so yeah kind of guide they didn't think that fully through uh but there we are sometimes you just uh kind of make those mistakes and you just gotta live but still a nice haul uh i can find a lot of sets recently a lot of sets i think i've got about 47 sets now and only about eight of them are actually built so they are building up lego addiction is a real thing apparently uh but yes gonna start building some very soon uh it's much quicker with obviously juggling two different channels because i've got a lego channel and the gaming channel plus you know i work full time shift work all over the place and uh yeah it can be tricky to get time to do everything i want to do but it gives me plenty to do when i do have time so yes that is the collection this is my vip weekend haul uh if you ain't got anything from vip let us know uh, you may have something different i know there are quite a few different deals on different voucher redemptions and so forth uh, and of course there was black friday which i can't say i was too impressed with the discounts or what they were actually discounting but that's just my opinion obviously um i just found they were a little bit lacking in the kind of quality there wasn't many Star Wars sets in there either, which is a shame. And the ones that were in, I already got. So, didn't make much of a difference, unfortunately. Um, but other than that, yeah, I'm happy with this haul. It was good. Uh, also, the Eiffel Tower set was released on the Black Friday. I really want that. Well, nowhere to put it, but I really want it, either way. Um, but yeah. Who knows, maybe in the future I'll be able to get it. Uh, unfortunately, the free gift they were giving away with it is now ended. I'm assuming they probably sold out or it was just for a limited time, I'm guessing. I'm quite sure which happened first. Um, but yes, that is it. That is it for this video. So thank you all for watching this video. Uh, it's given you a bit of an insight of what kind of things I build and will be building in the future. I've got a live stream planned for later on this month, a Christmas themed one. I'm not going to give too much away just yet until I've uh, advertised it on the YouTube channel. But yes, looking forward to that. Be a bit of fun. Um, yes, so that is it for now. So once again, thanks for coming in, stopping by, watching this video. And of course, if you enjoyed, don't forget to like, subscribe. Till next time, see ya.